Hey guys, this is Coach Alyssa coming to you from Isabel Fitness and today we're going to do an ab workout. Our ab workout today is going to be a 15 minute EMOM. So we're going to work every minute on the minute. Our first minute is going to be ab mat sit ups, which I'm going to show you. Um, minute two is going to be Russian twists, which I'll go over as well. And then minute three is going to be just a full minute of rest. So during those first two minutes, we're going to be working really hard and we're going to work um, for that full minute on these movements. And it's going to be all just core focus today. All right, so first off, I am using the pillows today, all right? For our ab mat sit-ups, we do want some back support. So, let's talk about our two movements. All right, for ab mat sit-ups, what you're gonna wanna do is find something, either a pillow or a blanket that you can ball up together um, to put behind your back. You're gonna bring your feet into a um, butterfly position so we're connecting our feet put this here for now we're connecting our feet all right and then from here we want that pillow to not be underneath our butt here we want it to be a little bit behind us so that our lower back falls there all right so then from here we're going to slowly piece by piece come back touch overhead and then come up and touch our toes all right so say that you don't have a pillow or anything for your back what you can do is slowly piece by piece. Um, just definitely make sure that you're staying more controlled during these sit-ups. Piece by piece, we're gonna come down to the floor with our spine, touch up overhead, and come back up. All right, so one more time. And touch back up. All right, so I am gonna use the pillow today. Like I said, if you have a blanket or a pillow or anything like that, you can use that. Um, with a blanket, just roll it up so it's right onto your back. All right, and then you can also hold a weight today if you'd like. All right, so you can hold a pillow, you can hold a weight, um, you can hold water bottles, you can hold a backpack, um, anything. You can hold a book if you want to. Um, you're gonna come back holding that, that object, you're gonna touch overhead with that object, and then touch your toes. And again, you don't have to do it with the pillow. You can just do it with your hands, touch overhead and touch your toes. All right, so that is up to you. Uh, the next thing that we're gonna do is a Russian twist. So for our Russian twist, we don't need the pillow behind our back. I'm gonna hold on to the pillow a little bit today. All right, so for our Russian twist, you're going to get into this leaned back position. The second we do this, our core ignites and feels nice and tight, right? And we start to feel that crunch position. All right, so we're gonna start here. Um, we can pick up our feet. And then from here, we're going to release our hands and touch side to side at our hip. All right, now say that you don't feel comfortable keeping your feet up, all right, especially for the long period of time we're gonna be working. Keep the feet down, still be in this position, lean back a little bit, and then just touching side to side with our hip here. All right, you can break whenever you need to, but at the same time, we wanna work as efficiently as we can because we know we're gonna get that rest on the third minute every time. All right, you can hold on to the pillow when we're doing these Russian twists as well or any object that you have. All right, so that would just make it um, a weighted or object uh, twist. All right, so I'm going to set up for those ab mat sit-ups and then we are going to get started and I'll set us up with a clock. All right, so I'm gonna have this right behind my back getting ready for the workout. So first minute is all ab mat sit-ups. So I'm going to just do as many as I possibly can. In three, two, one.
got about five seconds. So I'm gonna transition into my Russian twist. Just touching side to side at my hip on the floor. Really getting into the side of my core on this one. I'm gonna try to work until the minute mark is up because I know I'm gonna get that full minute of rest. And rest. So we work hard for those two minutes and then that third minute we get a nice, a nice break, a nice breather here. We can stretch it out. This is definitely a workout that you wanna have a timer or a clock nearby. <clears throat> that way you can watch your time. I actually ended up bringing this a little bit closer to me. Also on our ab mat sit-ups, my pillow started to run away from me and head that way. So I did start tucking it under my butt a little bit more, which is okay. As long as we're getting that back support and we're not just slamming our back into the ground when we come down. All right, I'm gonna get set up again for our ab mat sit-ups. And we are gonna go into our second round of these two movements. All right, up in five, three, two, one. Now, because we're going for a full minute, Make sure that you're going at a speed that is good for you. We want to challenge ourselves, but at the same time, know that we want to last through the whole 15 minute EMA. All right, I'm gonna get ready to transition. Okay, minute turned over. This time I'm gonna do it with my pillow. feeling this one. And rest. Just hit that five minute mark having this minute as our rest, and it's going to bring us on to the third round. All right, so this would be a good time to grab water. Again, get a good stretch in, and take a breather, but we can stay on the floor, because we're gonna be doing both of our movements around here, right? So we can just relax. <sighs> Got about 30 seconds, and then back up into those sit-ups. Now say that we start to get tired out during these sit-ups, you can use your arms on the way back up 
to help get us back up, but we should only really use that, that force and that momentum a lot once it gets tough. Back up in three, two, one. Even as I get tired, I'm really trying to force myself to not slam down, even with having the pillow here. We really want to control this movement. All right, transitioning to that Russian twist. Now you can change it up to a different modification every time. You can find one that's challenging and is perfect for you and then stick with that one. As long as we're working hard the full minute. and rest. Whew. They're definitely getting tougher to stay in the, the movement the whole time. So like I said, if we do have to take a second, take a very brief uh, rest and then hop back in. Definitely starting to feel my core tighten up. Uh, one thing to think about if you do want to make this uh, a bigger challenge. Um, keep track during your first couple of sets of how many you're getting, especially on that first set, because um, that's when we're most rested, right? We're not coming off of any workout at that point, um, so we should be the most rested, and that one or the second one is usually our best round. So if we keep track of what we got there, we have a goal to hit during our sets that come after. All right, back up in about 10 seconds. Say these get really tough and we're feeling like we can't come back up even using our arms as much as possible. What you can do is on the way up, come up, pull at the side of our legs, all the way to standing, or you can change the butterfly position to this position, which may make it a little bit easier to come up and then pull on, on the back of our leg, um, close to where our knees are, and just pulling up the rest of the way if we feel like we're not making it during that time. All right, transitioning to those Russian twists. My buddy Jasper is gonna help me out and join us for the end of our ab session.
especially being at home, there's a good chance if we have any animals at home, they'll want to join in. They'll be like, what are we doing? Good, and this will be the rest. All right, so I'm gonna take a minute, maybe pet the cat for this minute, relax a second, and then at the 12 minute mark, I'm gonna do our last two minutes of Ab Mat Sit Ups Russian Twist, and then that 15th minute, um, that 14 to 15 minute is going to be our last rest, which of course, because it's the end of the workout, we don't really need. All right, so this is the last two minutes of work, so I'm really gonna try to step up on this one and really push through um, these last two minutes of work. You want some belly rubs? You gonna help? All right, so 10 seconds, I gotta get ready. All right, Jasper, you can stay there. All right, and right back into the ab mat sit-ups. Really trying to finish out strong here. Last few seconds. And then last minute of Russian twists. Last 30 seconds. I'm gonna switch to no pillow, no weight, and just finish out as many as I can. That's the end of the workout. All right, this last minute from the 14 to 15 minute mark, like I said, is rest. So thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you guys in the next one.